and welcome back Team Bedrock. This is your host TNC Cuban and today I'm going to show you my grand adventure of episode one for me traveling to my island. Now I am in my little hidey hole. Um, it's not dark outside but I do hear some mobs around here. I don't know if you guys can hear them. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of show you guys and let you know uh, about the travels that I had to go through to get here. I guess I got a little lost, plus I found some interesting things, so I want to basically kind of share that with you. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so where, where, where's the, uh, I guess the main island is the uh, Mushroom Island? That's going to be the spawn, or not spawn, but shopping island? Yeah. Okay. Something yeah, make that, because it's, it's mob free, isn't it, so... Yeah. yeah, that's actually good. That's actually good. I, I, I never thought the of it. Our shops don't get exploded. So, yeah. Um, so, are we heading there? I could use a ride. Oh, <laughs> yeah, here, 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 here. Already Fizz, rides. hop on my back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, that was fun. Uh, and I'll, I'll be back soon. i got to take a break. All yeah, right. no worries. <laughs> okay, so, chickens. I need a shop. I think so. <laughs> First thing he what? says is, I need a shop. I'm making a mushroom shop. What? <laughs> how, may, how may I be of service to you today, sir? <laughs> I don't know, but all I can uh, pay you in is Jim's gold. Right, make a crafting table and some bowls. Are you guys still recording? Yes. I, I'm not. Oh, but I made a crafting table I and I already had one. I'm Shame on me. Right? Make a bowl. Make a what? Bowl. A bowl? Table. With yes. wood, okay. Yeah, each of us one one bowl. You should get three bowls. Oh, perfect. Fine. I guess that. Push and go. You're my food. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've never built on a mushroom island before, so this is actually interesting. All right. All I'm saying now is, go and get a lot and a lot and a lot of dirt or grass. We're not converting it, are we? I would. No. I I would. Best conversion of Minecraft. Yeah, I mean, it takes a while. You need it, water, too. But... Well, you know what, Mike? Like, you to make oh. a community project. It's warm. I'll, I'll get on it. I have plenty plenty of experience converting these things. Wait, what's warm? The, the mushrooms, too? Some, no, the water's warm. Save some blocks. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we get the silk touch in here. It's gonna take a while. Right. I keep it. <laughs> well, is it. Look behind you, right? Why just the baby cow? Where's the baby cow? a massive cow? body, but a tiny head. It, the baby cow looks like really odd. It's just a mini me. It, it, it's, a, it's a flat version of fish. What? <laughs> <laughs> is that why it's following fizz around? <laughs> Oh man, the green looks so vibrant over here on the Mushroom Island. Yeah, okay, it does, doesn't it? Definitely, that's that's why you convert. That's why I, I want to convert. <laughs> uh, I mean, leave a section so we can harvest the Mushroom Cows like crazy. But, uh, yeah, grass looks good here. They'll, they'll spawn on grass here in the yeah, bed, in their bedrock. Yeah, they will. Yeah, cause it's still the biome, so yeah. But they weren't. No, they don't they, spawn on grass. They, yeah. they, they will. I, I have a, a my single players on the Mushroom Island. They'll still spawn. I, I think the the mechanics. You, you changed, have a, a missing I think now. missing mushroom block somewhere, like down in a cave. You missed one. It has to be. Uh, although now with them spawning on anything, cobblestone, whatever, it may just be biome dependent. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, you know, I think it is now, guys. once they update it, it might not dependent. be like I mean, that. like, I got wolves spawning in caves down at Y11. So, what? Yeah. Yeah. Sent has stuff spawning all over his four pillar. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. But I didn't think they would spawn in a cave. Yeah, we're running a tunnel bore on the Lopia, and all along the, the, the hole or the tunnel is animal spawning. So but yeah, I'll, I'll oh, uh, definitely catch you guys later. All right, man, take it easy. On. All right, bye, man. All right, so just to uh, kind of get things going, Fizz Cannon is over there with uh, I believe DB. 
I'm going to head on this way because I think that's this area that I was interested in building on. I do have some ideas and I do have some plans and I think it's going to be really interesting. As you guys watch probably maybe my Let's Play series, you'll see that I'm not the best at building, but that's why I wanted to do this. You know, I really wanted to learn. Uh, there's actually a lot of good builders in here uh, in the game, so that way maybe I can ask them for some help, maybe ask for some uh, opinions. And of course you guys, you know, I definitely want to get you guys' ideas and opinions, you know on on some of the buildings or some of the builds that we're going to be doing so i'm just going to kind of head out this way and <laughs> hopefully i don't die before i get to at least a fair good location to uh get things started so i'll catch you guys uh whenever i find a spot to uh, settle on all right so in the midst of my travel i see lifter over here <laughs> not sure what he's doing maybe this is where he's deciding to build but i had this enderman start chasing me I wonder if I can get an ender pearl from him. That'd be nice. Come here, buddy. Let's get a pearl from you. Yeah, go in the water. Hurt yourself. <laughs> and of course, all he drops is the block. What's up, lifter? <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, we're gonna continue on this way. I just, you know, I saw him coming over here in the same direction that I was heading. So, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully our builds aren't going to be intermingling, but I definitely need to make sure I know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, good times. So basically here I am. I pillared up. I had to be careful because since everybody is loading chunks as well as myself, uh, it's kind of, you know, all over the place uh, with the lag. But anyways, I, I kind of pillared up. I'm looking for kind of a mountainous area. and Maybe this is not the best example, but... Think of maybe this, but a little bit bigger or, or bigger per se. I already have uh, kind of seen what I wanted to build just looking at the bio find, finder uh, online. So I kind of have an idea, but I mean, I won't know. <laughs> There's Lifter. I won't know where it's at until I guess I can find it. I do have a general direction, though. So hopefully, uh, to be honest, I'm going the right way. <laughs> okay, I think that's it right over there. That might be it. I'm not entirely certain. I'll know once I get over there because, I mean, I kind of did look at the area. I don't know if there's any spawners over there. I don't know what kind of resources are over there. But I did like the layout of the land. And, I mean, spawners, are, they're pretty much everywhere in the game. So that's not too difficult. Looks like everybody's getting off. Uh, but I, I kind of want to get to my base area so that way we can get where, where I want to go. Still haven't gotten that third wool yet. Running low on food also, so I might have to maybe craft a furnace and get some other things. I really should have taken a crafting table, but, I mean, I got wood everywhere I, I am, so pretty good on that. So, oh, look, look, looks like Lifter left also. Let's see, who's who's left in here? Voided and Ginger. So, yeah, we're, we're going to go over there and check it out, and hopefully that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so that was the mountains that we initially saw. We had to actually go across some water that's, you know, on the other side. Um, but, yeah, no, there's just like a big ravine, not ravine, but a river that goes through those two mountains. That's kind of what made me think it was what I was looking for, but it's not. Uh, found these big, tall spruce trees uh, just so I can try and get a better vantage point. But, yeah, we're definitely, I know we got to be getting close. I'm just not too sure uh, where it's at, so... Still looking, guys. Hold in there. We will definitely find it. I, I really wanted to find these set of mountains because it was really nice. There was actually more than one uh, mountainous kind of peak that, you know, I wanted to really build on. And, and uh, I mean, I'll be able to explain it a little bit better once we get there. So, yeah, just hold tight. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so I know it was somewhere around negative 1,000, negative 1,000. That's the area that I'm looking for. So I'm, I'm kind of maybe going to start using my coordinates instead of just roaming around. Uh, we're going to go to 1,000, 1,000 and see if I can find a place to pillar up and kind of maybe get a better look at things because, I mean, just nothing looked familiar where I was at. So we're definitely going to try and figure out, in a sense, where to go uh, once we get to... That, that specific area, 1,000, 1,000, negative 1,000, negative 1,000 on the X and Z coordinates. So, yeah, yeah hopefully, hopefully I can get us there a little bit sooner than later because it did get dark again. And, uh, you know, nighttime is not always the best when you don't have armor and stuff, especially when going through the trees like this because creepers will sneak up on you. Hopefully I don't die in the process. Yeah, running out of hunger, running low on food. I mean, I have some raw meat, but 
uh, I have already eaten it and you know the saturation for the raw meat is just really not helping so uh, I've kind of found a clear area without any too without too many mobs and I think I can uh, manage keeping myself alive here because I really don't want to have to respawn all the way back at the initial spawn island <laughs> that's gonna be difficult oh cool okay so got some food running low on wood I might have to grab some wood along the way Let's go ahead and pick up my stuff and the Sun is coming up that's a good sign and if I had like a fishing rod or a saddle or something it'd be really nice to get that horse it'd probably help out with the hunger wise All right, now I think we're getting somewhere. Now it is. Uh, there are some kind of trifecta biomes, I guess you could say. Uh, that almost looks like a desert area. We got some ice over here, which is going to be useful. And you know, this is kind of a plains and swamp area over there. But I think the area, if I, if that looks like it's right, over there in those mountains, you see all those mountains over there. That's, I believe, exactly where we're trying to go. I'm glad I actually went 1,000, 1,000. I'm actually able to see where where the spot was that I kind of planned out so let's see if we can get on over there without dying by that polar bear sitting over there <laughs> and without running out of hunger so we can definitely set up base and dig a hole somewhere and just kind of get everything start getting everything set up oh this is definitely gonna be good look at this there's a like a temple that's kinda of halfway in the ground and halfway in the water so I mean this might actually be useful I wonder if there's any treasure here let's go ahead and no that's gonna take forever to dig out let's go on the top see if we can dig some of this stuff out I don't even have a shovel but yeah these these blocks I just kinda came over I didn't even know this was over here if I can find a treasure map or a map of some sort that'd be nice to kinda give us something to do when we uh, get back over to you know this area or once we get settled in all right, got this area dug out, and there is the chest. That's actually kind of really easy. At least I didn't have to drown to get to it. Let's see what's in there. Please give me something good. Um, unbreaking one. That's actually not too bad, and it's got some wheat. Uh, I'm have to clear my inventory out, but let's see if I can uh, get that chest broken and just have all the items float up. That would actually be a good idea. There we go. See, that's the way to do it. And then I can kind of swap out what I don't really want or need in here. Let's see. We got feathers I don't really need. Don't really need these blocks. I can actually make those blocks myself. Chicken. We'll definitely have some kind of chicken farm going. And did I get that chest? Yes, I did. All right. So let's go ahead and continue on this grand adventure. <laughs> so that way we can get settled in. Because like I said, I think those are the mountains that I was looking at before. Nice, we got a temple right here. I'm actually going to raid that now. I don't want somebody else to come over in this area. Look at this cactus. I did not even do that. That's crazy. I didn't know they spawned cactus on top of each other like that. That's going to be useful to have. I mean, I do like some of the green dyes for uh, some builds and, you know, things that I kind of get put together. But let's go ahead and head into this temple and see what we can find. Hopefully I won't die. Alright, I made it down here, but it was kind of dark. I got the furnace going, so maybe I can grab some torches. And then I want to break all these chests with you guys, so that way we can kind of go through it together. So as soon as I get a torch in here, we can kind of go through things, and hopefully I don't get killed by mobs. Oh, there I go. I lost my light. So let's go ahead and get this all set up for uh, you guys to have a better view. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now I think everybody can see what's going on because it was really dark down here. I haven't quite grabbed the TNT down from below because I got a lot of stuff in my inventory that I kind of need to go through plus I threw some stuff down right there but let's go ahead and take a quick look ooh diamond horse armor definitely like that plus the gold horse armor the gunpowder definitely needed and so is the gold let's go ahead and see if I can grab some of this stuff and let's get rid of that let's get rid of flowers I mean I, I grabbed them usually along the way for dye purposes but I, I'm sure we can find some later on plus I, I do believe once people start setting up shop we'll be able to grab some of that stuff too uh, but some things like the diamond horse armor, you know, you're not going to be able to get from, you know, probably shops. People are probably going to keep that for themselves. I know I would. Ooh, gunpowder on the way. I'm liking this. This was not a bad take. Ah, oh, definitely not a bad take. Up to 24. 
And 19 bones. We can leave the rotten flesh in there. We don't need that. Ooh, a golden apple. I didn't even see that. Nice. 10 gold. 23 bones. Some sand that's not needed. And we're about to grab some TNT. Nice. That's what we need. In case we need to break into an ocean monument, the TNT is going to be a lot better. Alright, so it looks like DB is sleeping. Uh, I think what we're going to try and do is maybe log out so uh, so they can actually get get the data pass. Okay, so we have found the area that I had initially wanted to kind of build on. So, let's see if I can get up there and maybe show you guys. Oh, look, let me get this creeper. I want some gunpowder. If, although I do have a lot now. <laughs> I got to show you guys kind of basically the take that I've got. Give me one second. Let me kill this guy so that way he doesn't kill me. Creepers cannot be so fun sometimes. All right, so I got 26 gunpowder. That's for really good for a start. Uh, 9 TNT. Got some good horse armor, so we're definitely going to have to get some horses. I did take the fishing rod with the unbreaking. Not too great, but, I mean, maybe I can fish up some other good stuff. Uh, hopefully even a mending book just, you know, to kind of get things started and going. That would be awesome. Uh, let's see. I don't know why I'm holding on to this leather. Maybe it was just in my inventory and I haven't tossed it out. But that little island up there, or that little floating island, was kind of a marker that I was looking for. Uh, when I previously looked at this place, so hopefully we can get up there and maybe I can give you guys a better look uh, overview on what what my plans are or what my ideas are. Okay, maybe not the best point of view. I mean, I was trying to get to the floating island right there, but uh, yeah, this is the area that I plan on working with. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you guys might see. Uh, and trying to maybe work with this, but I want to definitely on each uh, mountain peak. This is basically the idea. Oh, and look, the sun is rising. What what better time for the sun to rise to kind of showcase this off or show you guys what we got going on? Oh, wow. Those pigs just spawned there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but they literally just spawned over there. So, okay, like I was saying, on each mountain peak... Uh, basically I want to do like a house build uh, underneath each mountain or uh, underneath each house underneath each house what I want to do is uh, set up farms uh, kinda gotta figure out uh, the centralized location which I think is that island um, I'm gonna have to definitely you know chunk line this out so that way I know um, how big my ticking area is because I just I'm gonna do all of this hopefully within one ticking area all my farms all my redstone builds everything so that way all I have to do is stand right there and everything will be loaded around me uh, kelp sugarcane uh, mobs whatever it is that I decide to do um, I do need to go in some of these caves and see if there's a mob grinder but we'll definitely get into that so I'm just going to leave it at that. We are at base. I'm going to stay crouched so I don't fall off of this thing. We're at base. We got uh, ice in the background, which is good. We got a uh, desert in the background, which is good. We got some acacia. We got a birch tree forest over there. We've got the dark oak trees. And I think that's about it. Maybe, I can't remember if there is something over in that area beyond the desert. I think there's a uh, uh, mesa biome. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of it. All right, so I know we didn't get a whole lot done with episode one, but we did kind of go on this grand adventure to kind of find this place. It did take me longer than I expected, but we found it. I'm ready to get things going, and we are out of here. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.